Some really unexpected Star Wars news today, and we begin with a new rumour by MakingStarWars.net. They've posted a fantastic, eye-opening article, and again I will say they're one of the most reliable sources, that The Mandalorian Season 4 could become a film instead of continuing as a Disney Plus series. And this is in light of all the strikes, they spoke with some of their sources. So here's the main bit. They start by saying Hollywood is broken. Oh boy, is that an understatement. The strikes have made every project a tentative hope. People are playing dirty. So Jason at Making Star Wars says that this past week, he had meetings with sources about the state of Lucasfilm. He knows people on the inside. And as you would expect, everything is in a liminal space at the moment. There is a lot of uncertainty. So when it comes to specific upcoming projects, a lot is up in the air, no one knows. They say anyone who pretends they know what is going on is probably too confident in their analysis. But they're saying when it comes to Kathleen Kennedy, Dave Filoni, John Favreau, there is a plan in place they may or may not use. It's really up to them if they decide to do it. And this idea has been floating round, that season 4 of The Mandalorian might not be a Disney Plus show. Instead, it's going to be a cinematic release, essentially giving Dave Filoni two Star Wars films, because he's going to be helming both with Jon Favreau. And the reason for this is they wanted to make another season of Ahsoka before the first Dave Filoni movie, so they're going to combine what was going to be Disney Plus shows and turn them into a film that leads into the second Dave Filoni movie, which was going to be the one originally announced back at Star Wars Celebration. But it must be made clear, it's not going to be called The Mandalorian Season 4, it's just going to incorporate the next chapter of Mando and Ahsoka Season 2. And I will reiterate guys, this is just a rumour. They go on to say as the strikes continue, the chances of Mando 4, Ahsoka 2, and possibly a book of Boba Fett Season 2 are looking less likely for the future, because this strike is for the long haul. And even after the strikes and in spite of them, Disney's funding priorities are going to change. Bob Iger wants to make more Star Wars films and less Disney Plus shows. And as they say in this article, it's going to take a Christmas miracle. But Disney is prioritising theatrical releases for Star Wars going forward. And so, Mando Season 4 and Ahsoka Season 2 will be combined into one film. I think it makes a lot of sense, but again, it's so hard to tell at this stage. I think it's time now to bring Mando to the big screen. Grogu always sells, we loved in Jaren, they've set up a bigger story, and instead of diluting it with more seasons on Disney+, Plus, a film could be a good option. What are your thoughts? Share them down below. And so now, my dear friends, this is the month of Star Wars Ahsoka. Hype is ramping up in the fandom as we anticipate the two-episode premiere in just 22 and a half days' time. So today we have a very interesting update. A character who was central in the Clone Wars animated film back in 2008, which just so happened to be Ahsoka's first appearance, was Rotter the Hutlet, also known as Stinky. And over the years, fans have wondered, what happened to him? Where is he during the New Republic era, after Jabba died? Well, today, my dear friends, we have something of an answer. On July the 26th, so just a mere few days ago, Star Wars canon acknowledged him once again in a comic, Hyperspace Story 6. And Rotter is a bit older, but before we get too excited, while Rotter is older in these comics, in terms of hut years, he is still a baby, and this takes place before A New Hope, because the story is from the point of view of Greedo, how Greedo started working for Jabba. It's a tale of romance, it's a tale of betrayal, you've even got a Wookiee in there. And Rotter appears on the final page, because the Wookiee toy maker and Greedo look after him. They tell the story of how Greedo was forever indebted to Jabba the Hutt, he lost his life to Han Solo in Episode 4, but the comics are exploring earlier periods of Greedo's life. There was a moment back in 2017 where Star Wars fans thought they got a glimpse of Jabba the Hutt's son alive during the New Republic, in interaction with Cobb Vanth, but this hut was called Borgo, a baby hut brought in by members of the Red Key Raiders, and had no relation to Rutter. So we still have no blooming idea during The Mandalorian or The Ahsoka Show if Rotta is still alive, but they're gonna tell that story in the comics. So could he appear in the Ahsoka series? Well, it would be a nice callback to the first time Ahsoka appeared on our screens. But I wouldn't hold my breath, my dear Meglorians. In other Star Wars news, the other day it was great to hear that Lando is still in the cards, and it's now going to be written by the Glover brothers, Donald and Steven. Justin Simeon is no longer on the project, he already wrote scripts, and as recently as just last week, he thought he was still involved in the project, but it turns out he's not. Variety released the news as well as Above the Line, but now some insane news regarding this story. Justin Simeon was not told by Lucasfilm he was fired, he found out on Instagram. Here is the headline, Lucasfilm just fired a Star Wars Disney Plus showrunner in a brutal way. 
Brutal is a very accurate term, anything else is an understatement. Here's what they say. It is no secret that Star Wars has struggled to maintain connections with its creatives in recent years, with more than a dozen major names having left the projects. Cancelled and postponed shows and movies seem to be Lucasfilm's trademark at this point, whether it's Disney and Lucasfilm moving in a new direction, or the creatives themselves leaving their work behind. The franchise has not had an easy time. News recently broke that at some point before the WJ strike began, in May, Lando's originally announced head writer Justin Simeon was no longer attached to develop the series. Donald Glover and his brother were revealed to have boarded the show to take over writing duties, and Donald himself is young Lando. Shortly after the report dropped, Simeon shared an image of Lando, along with a report noting this was the first time, the first time he was hearing about the news that he'd been removed from the Star Wars project to be replaced by the Glover brothers. Now, while he was happy for them, there was definitely sadness and anger behind his words. He said, quote, Donald is a national treasure. Glad he and Steven get to carry the character forward their way. This also comes after Simeon revealed in an interview he had no updates since 2020, when the show was first announced on Disney Investor Day, and he even told The Hollywood Reporter in an interview published on July 27th that he was still attached and had hopes that it was going forward. But he did say he didn't know, and he laughed about it, but he had every intention to continue the project when Lucasfilm gave the green light, and he genuinely believed this was going to be his project going forward, so this may have come as a huge, huge shock. It all happened the same day, him saying he was still attached, and subsequently, just a few hours later, finding out the Glover brothers were attached instead. Justin Simeon finished by saying this, I haven't investigated further, but I'm not an idiot. I'm not alone in that experience. And many creators have called out Lucasfilm and Disney for this kind of behavior in the past, just leaving creators in the dark and not giving any updates, so the Glover brothers were told, but the original creator of the show, the one who was originally tasked to write scripts, and he did, mind you, was not told, and found out through social media. That's just not okay. That is really brutal. Donald Glover is one of the busiest men in Hollywood, but with the strikes putting everything on hold, Lando is not going to be a show we're going to see anytime soon. In other Lando news, Billy D. Williams, the original Lando Calrissian, who returned in 2019's The Rise of Skywalker, may have just teased he's involved in the Lando show, saying he's working on something special, finishing his tweets with May the Force be with you all. This sounds like it's going to be something Star Wars related. And so finally, two fantastic Mandoverse Lego sets have now been revealed. This is still in the rumor phase, but very exciting, and comes from BrickFanatics.com, who tend to get things right. The first one is a skeleton crew ship, the ship that we saw in the earliest concept art for the series. This comes out on January the 1st, and the second set is Grogu's Escape, with Keller and Beck from Mando Season 3. This set is based on that scene, and includes a box speeder with minifigures of Keller and Grogu. But share your thoughts on this, and everything we spoke about, in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video my dear friends please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next video may the force be with you always